Good morning. John Gilkison here. Um, like everyone else, I was a little taken back by the Tesla Cybertruck uh, presentation last night, and uh, or excuse me, Thursday night, and I've taken a, a few days to assimilate what I've seen. And one of the things that occurred to me is there was there was no specs released for the coefficient of drag of the of the triangular shaped uh, Tesla Cybertruck. Uh, but a couple of specifications uh, we had were that it had a height of uh, 75 inches. So I have a Ford F-150 here, and I've measured this board I put across the uh, on top of the cab here. And it's in roughly the same position as the peak of the roof on the Tesla Cybertruck. And... Uh, it's 75 inches at the top of that board. And I've tied this rope to the back of my bed inside. And uh, I happen to have a six and a half foot bed, which is what the Tesla Cybertruck has. So I'd have to double check on the measurements on length. But uh, there are nearly the same I think um, so and I have a crew cab so I think this rope experiment shows that number one you're not cutting off that much of the cab at back especially if you had a panoramic roof you wouldn't lose any headroom uh, of course the exact dimensions are a little different on the inside and so forth but you get the idea, and the same thing, you're not cutting off anything of the uh, of the front. And then the, uh, the slope of the glass and the frunk is uh, more shallow than a regular pickup truck, but it's, it's not that uh, much of a departure. So the air... Once it comes up over the top of the truck, it can follow that angle. Now, my biggest concern is, is once you reach that peak up there, it's it's going to separate and it's going to flow off the back of the truck and it's going to, what they call vortex shedding. But one of the things about vortex shedding is, is it can fill that gap and the air can roll over the top of it. And you can still have some laminar flow, although you're still losing some energy. It's not ideal. But uh, it may turn out that the Tesla Cybertruck might have a pretty low drag coefficient for a truck. Uh, my truck, I think, is is uh, 0 0.41 or something like that, 0 0.43. I forget now. I'd have to look it up. But uh, I think we're looking at a truck that's definitely going to be in the 0 0.32 drag coefficient uh, realm. And that's going to be significant for a pickup truck. And uh, so after being able to think about it for a couple of days, I begin to realize that this triangular shape is not as bad, uh, especially for drag coefficient, as one might think. And it is an improvement over a regular truck. It's just the shape is so unusual that it, it even took me back. So, um, at first, but uh, I think they're definitely breaking some new ground here. Now, if I was designing this truck, I would make two breakovers and not have a peak like that, a single peak where the air has to roll over it. That would give it a chance to reorganize, I think, a lot better. But, uh, hey, they're robbing this train, not me. And uh, it is very interesting. Uh, pickup truck that they've introduced to the world and I guess we're going to see how it goes it's not even going to be in production for more than a year or so so uh, there's some time they may come up with some other iterations of it who knows what uh, Mr. Elon Musk might do so 
depends on the feedback I think he gets on the truck he's introduced, whether he makes modifications or not. So I just thought I'd throw my two cents in the ring on this. Uh, I think this little experiment of stretching a rope over my uh, F-150 with a six and a half foot bed is very telling. And once you do that, you begin to realize that number one, you're really not encroaching on the, the crew cab area that much. Uh, and the same thing with the, the front. And trucks are pretty bad. The air has to come up over that glass and then up over the roof. So there's two, two areas where there's high drag and then it comes off the back of the roof. And that whole area from the back of the roof of the cab Overneath, over the top of my bed cover is a vortex shedding area that the air is trying to fill in. Now the bed cover is better than no bed cover. Uh, I get an extra, you know, four or five percent out of it. So, so there you are. Just wanted to share this with you all. And I'm going to post a separate video in a day or two on my impressions about the Toyota um, the Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid electric, which I'm very interested in. And I'm going to pull up, a, write down some numbers, a spec sheet on it. So when I do my presentation, maybe have a picture, uh, we can talk about what it would mean for us. I think it would really fit in our family very well. And uh, we're in the market for a vehicle within one year time frame. And it's coming out next summer. So questions of course it's going to be availability who knows maybe i just need to sell this truck and get myself a tesla cyber truck wouldn't that be a hoot so i'll talk to you later y'all take care bye bye